Good afternoon, YouTube. This video, I'm going to talk about some trends with regards to what Kubernetes ingress resources are used on F5 Big IP CIS. And so I get asked a lot, Mark, what resource or what ingress resource should I use? And that's what I want to talk about in this video. So let's talk a little bit about what an ingress resource is and why. So Kubernetes pods and services cannot be accessed outside of the cluster. So you have to have a resource to expose the pod and services outside the cluster. And that's what a Kubernetes resource is. And so the Kubernetes ingress resource allows you to configure various rules. So these are routing rules to route traffic to services within the cluster. And these rules are mostly around what and how you want to load balance the traffic, potential termination with regards to SSL or TLS, or some type of re-encryption, host-based routing using host headers and other types of headers or specific URL paths. Maybe you want to enable security. That could be WAF, BOT, DOS, for example. There's a bunch of monitoring and other types of load balancing, maybe on ports, etc. that you that you want to do. And so that's really what a ingress resource allows and why it's so important to use these resources. And so this guide going to talk a little bit about what resources are available. And we're going to look at some percentages of current trends and percentages of sampling data that, that I have. And so CIS supports ingress, config map, routes, and CRDs. And so these are the four big criteria of resource definitions or of, re of Kubernetes resources that we see. And so within custom resource definitions, you've obviously got transport, virtual server, you've got the policies, you've got stuff like ingress link, you've got stuff like IPAM as well. And so those are all, those all fall under CRDs. So let's look at some trends that um, I have sampled uh, potentially over the last three years. So when CIS was first released, it had a big emphasis of two things, mostly on ingress and config map. And that's why you see the utilization or the trending of usage of config map and ingresses around 30%, which is, which is you know, quite substantially high. Um, but it's interesting that config map being a little higher than ingress. I actually thought that maybe ingress was a little higher than config map. And I think the reason for that is because config map exposes the AS3 declaration and allows you to configure many and any objects that you want. I can see config map actually leading um, from a usage perspective. And that, that, that kind of does make sense, at least in, in, in this chart. And Config map was also one of the first ingress resources that we adopted when um, we um, created CIS um, from its original container connector. And so that's one of the reasons why I think it's so strong. Ingress is obviously, I think, the default factor that most people tend to use from day one and then maybe move to uh, another ingress resource, if you're looking for something a little different or maybe something more advanced, you kind of move away from ingress resource to maybe something like a config map or a CRD. And then, of course, we have routes, which is which is actually quite, I think it's quite low at 6%, but that's just potentially maybe just dedicated to using the OpenShift platform. And so maybe that's why... Um, we kind of see that number. And if you if you look, maybe that's around the same number of, of, of deployments. However, you can't really say that because not every single OpenShift deployment is using routes. Some use Ingress, some use CRDs. It, it really depends. What is significant here is if you add up virtual server and transport server, you're going to get to like 40%. So that tells me clearly the usage of Ingress resources today are predominantly CRD based. And if you add that's both for L7 as well as L4 plus ingress link, that's really interesting. Almost 4.4% 4 
kind of like of sampling data are using ingress link that's gets back to you could almost say that's deployment based right because each ingress link ref represents a deployment so that is significant ingress link is f5 big ip plus nginx in a single solution with that is specific to that ingress link resource you that's probably even higher because I've seen ingress link resources not using the ingress link specific resource, but using a transport server or a virtual server. That's quite possible because the back end is just a service. It could be Nginx service. So IPAM is very significant. Look at that number. Virtual server IPAM of 4%. So if you add up all these CRD specifics, you're going to get to almost 50%. And that's really good because we've spent a lot of time and a massive focus to get CRDs stable, out the door, refactored, better performance, et cetera. And so that's clearly showing. And if you look at the trends, you can see in the trend, you know, the charts here from the beginning of 2020, look at the trend of virtual server, the growth here, and you can see it climbing. Versus ingress, you can see from 2022, the decrease of ingress Potentially, these were users that were jumping over to something else. Um, a little bit of a spike there, and then the slowly decline. And you, I think you're going to see this decline and decline more and more. And this is where the community is going with Gateway API. And so we're taking the best of potentially what we did in CRDs and moving that into Gateway API. And you can kind of see that right here with virtual server, transport server following up right below, and now config map being on the decline. So originally quite high here, and then maybe this was something that we added in config map or some deployments here we see, and then maybe now we're start starting to see a decline. So I, I think moving forward, we're going to see a bigger decline with config map and ingress, and you're going to start to see m more of an increase in virtual server as well as transport server and some of this IPAM stuff and potentially maybe even um, some of the ingress link stuff some of the IPAM as well. So these these are quite small here, but I think you will potentially maybe see these grow. But the biggest significant thing that I want to show on this chart is that virtual server, transport server is leading the usage, the sample usage of users out there. And so that's quite significant. So if you need to migrate from ingress to config map to CRDs, here are some really good links that you can you can use to kind of see the difference. This is all examples. The examples are actually pretty good. And I think we'll start to see even more growth with CRDs after the 2.12 release, where with when you create a CRD, you can specify your partition or tenant on Big IP. So it's almost like a CRDs with its virtual partition on Big IP. I, I, I think that's pretty cool. That, that's in 2.2, and I'm gonna actually going to document another video. Um, that's going to be my next video that I'm going to create on, um, on YouTube. So in this document, we talked about what Kubernetes resources, what Kubernetes ingress resources are we seeing, um, are trending um, based on sampling with um, FI Big IP CIS. And so if this document is useful and you like this information, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I have some really cool content coming.